Howdy neighbor, Robin here, and I will be holding your hand through this video game slash post review and reveal video. I'm going to unbox a diamond painting this morning, first of all, because I need a canvas to experiment with, and I'm afraid <coughs> of the rendering of this particular painting. I'm a spoiled baby and I'm only ever probably gonna do custom paintings from now on. I would rather just get what I want. This was not a custom diamond painting. This was a have to buy diamond paintings. I just started diamond painting painting. This came from the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven store. Took about, I'm gonna say 36 days to get here. I am a video game person. If I made money video gaming, I'd have probably have a savings account. This video painting was listed on AliExpress in this particular store as a Disney image. It has nothing to do with Disney whatsoever, unless Disney has also purchased the video game franchise that this image came from, it could be a Disney diamond painting by now. Disney might own me for all I know. The next experiment that I do, there will be no turning back from, it will be uh, altered in a way that you will never be able to put it back together. So if the rendering of this painting is really, really bad, which I suspect because it's probably too small, then we will just go ahead and use it for our little experiment and keep the drills and call it a day and, you know, move on. So you have Bioshock 1, you have Bioshock 2, and then this video game was called Bioshock Infinite. In this video game, the protagonist, his name was Booker, and he has uh, a woman with him at all times named Elizabeth. So let's get into it and see where we're at. I like pink boxes. Who doesn't like pink, right? So I, I like the color of the box. No foam roller. As long as I can stick this sucker under the heat press, if it's wrinkled, I don't care. Lot, oh man, does this stink. And it doesn't just smell. It like hits you in the throat. Like I just took a hit off of a cigarette. Let's just put those out of the way and um, let's just look at the canvas. It's gonna require heat pressing if I do it at all and don't just go ahead and destroy it. My next experiment is completely different from anything I've done with a diamond painted canvas yet. So you'll you'll want to be um, ringing that bell to get notified when I post because you're gonna wanna see what I do. It uh, has the potential to be pretty cool. Or, you know, disastrous like most of my experiments. Your standard kit, no multi-placer, which that's the only thing I was really hoping I would get with this kit was a multi-placer because I need a new replacer. Darn it. But, say la vie. Let's just take a look at the drills. Okay, there's 40 colors. It's dark. It's got very dark colors. There's not a lot of happy colors going on here. And it, it's dark for a reason. Because it's a dark, it's a dark picture and a dark video game. Let me scooch this out of the way and then we will look at the canvas. Yeah, oh, you thought I was gonna pause it. No, I'm just gonna scooch it out of the way. All right, here is the artwork that I purchased. So let's see. And this is exactly what I was afraid of. From what I can see right here, do you see all those hearts? I mean, this just looks like one big black blob in the middle there. The details around here? Oh, no, uh-uh, I can tell you. This, this will be the painting that I destroy. And I'm not destroying it, by the way. I'm just going to make it into something new, like a butterfly. And this is the artwork that this knockoff, whatever it is, was rendered referencing. 
What do you guys think? You guys leave me a comment below. I mean, I'm not going to destroy it right this second. So this is a 40 by 50. Eh, I had a feeling. We can write this off, chalk it up as experience. If you want detail to come out of your diamond paintings, you need them to be huge. That's my opinion. I think for me to be happy with it, it would have to be a lot bigger. And the OU812 diamond painting store, I'm not gonna say that they're a bad company. The drills look um, pretty nice. I don't have a problem with those. These drills are fine. I don't see a lot of concave ones or anything like that. So the drills are good. You know, it's just this rendering. We will be back so that I can talk to you about my completed diamond painting. So hang on for one millisecond. Let me insert the original artwork. From a distance, eh, not too horribly bad. However, uh, the problem lies when you come closer. So from her chin down, I'm pretty happy. Let's just look at her face. This girl is what I refer to as a butterface. Everything on her is great butterface. I understand that this over here is supposed to be a flower arrangement in her hair, and I get that, but I mean, why is all of this blue? I know that they can do this correctly because in the French girl that I'm working on right now, the way that they did the shading on her eyes is, is everything. It's giving me life. Her nose is blue, her chin is blue. She looks like a monster. My other problem with her is her hands. Okay, her hands are, are just, I mean, that's just like a blob of something back there. I don't even know what that is. And this hand is just like, uh, uh, let me show you a sparkle though. This is another sad thing because the sparkle in her is just so nice. It's beautiful, really. Okay, I guess I, all I have to say about her is she's a learning experience. You know, Jessica from Tiny Worlds of Wonder wants to take some time out of her busy day to do some surgery on her face for me. I'll gladly roll her up and send her over there. I, however, am not good at that. I'm going to go sit down now because my arms are tired from holding the camera. So, Jessica over at Tiny Worlds of Wonder and I are teaming up to bring you a Halloween diamond painting community event called Hashtag Drills and Chills that's going to span both Instagram and our YouTube channels. This event is going to kick off on September 1st. So what we're asking everyone to do is gather your diamond painting, your Halloween themed diamond painting, your spooky diamond painting, autumn themed diamond painting. I mean, you know, Halloween is literally up for interpretation. We're asking that you post a picture of your uncompleted, unstarted diamond painting by September 1st using the hashtag Drills and Chills and complete the diamond painting by October 31st because that is what Jessica and I have challenged ourselves to do. I've seen Jessica's diamond painting. It's really cool. So you're going to want to tune into our channels for our unboxings and our very spooky whip and chats and we're hoping that everyone will have fun and partake i can't wait to see what everybody comes up with for their diamond paintings and i can't wait for you to see mine i love to share with the class and speaking of sharing with the class uh, i wanted to show all of you as well that i did start work on my guitar this is the canvas that i sewed i I'm loving it so far, even though I was worried about the size. It has the length, but not the girth that I need. Right now, as it stands, the votes between the skull and the octopus are tied. So I need your vote. Please run on over there and do that. I don't wanna go into any more depth about the diamond painting that I revealed to you today because to go into any more depth than I did in there would probably not be uh, kosher at this point. Just 
based on the experience that I have so far in the game. So I'm not gonna do that. I don't know what I'm gonna do with her yet. I don't even think I'm gonna hang her up, but we will see. If you guys have any suggestions or if any of you would like to like, would like to have a shot at fixing her, I'd be more than happy to box her up and send her to you. Please make sure to subscribe to my channel if this content is something that you're interested in and make sure you press that bell so that you know every time that I post, like I said, I have some really good experiments coming up in the very near future. Also, all of the hashtag drills and chills events that we have planned, I promise you're not gonna wanna miss any of that. It is a Monday. I'm gonna go do some Uber now. Wish me luck and I will see all of you a next time. Yeah. Does that mean you're taping us? I'm taping myself. I'm in it too. How do you know? Because I'm sure I am. What, honey? Do what? You, what? What's your, what's your uh, favorite thing about your car? About my car? Uh huh. That Papa pays for it. <laughs> <laughs>